Welcome to the early stream. Just um, waiting for a couple people to uh, show up. So we're just going to do some Red Dead story. This may not be to everyone's liking, but I'd like to make some progress with the story. I'm here early today, later on. I have a friend that wanted to grab a drink, and I haven't seen him in a while, and I said yes. And I don't really even feel like drinking, so that's what I do for friendship. <laughs> hey, yeah, can I get a water, please? See, I'm, I'm drinking. Y you see? But, uh, yeah, we'll do a couple hours of Red Dead, if you're interested. Last time I streamed this, we made some really good story progress. Actually, I did the online, which was fun-ish. I liked it. Oatmeal died and then came back. But, anyway, the Earl of Yacht is here. No stream tonight, no, no, just this today. Tomorrow there won't be any Red Dead, and uh, should be regular time. So you want to get started? Let's get started. Let me load that up. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Hope everyone's doing okay. Hey, Mr. Anime Hater, how do you feel that they're making Blade Runner into the cursed art form of Japanese animation, Kappa? And that's from Nari. There's so much in there. There's so much in that sentence. I'm glad there's a Kappa in there. I'm, I'm really excited. You know, I might uh, check out Ghost in the Shell because I think someone that worked on that anime is going to do uh, the Blade Runner anime. Along with the dude from uh, Cowboy Bebop. Vinny, you hate anime, really? Come on, no, of course I don't. I think just because I don't watch it and people are very persistent about me watching it. I had this thought earlier. Someone was like, you need to watch this anime now that Blade Runner is happening. I was like, well, how does that affect your life? Like, that doesn't... What? Wait a minute. There's a false equivalency here. Um, Vinny, if you don't talk about anime all the time, you hate it. Oh, okay. Shit. But no, they're making a Blade Runner anime for Adult Swim, and I think that's a good direction. If you saw the Blade Runner 2049, like, promos, they did a couple, you know, short films and, and a cartoon, and the cartoon was really, really good. So, I mean, however they make it, as long as the writing is good, the animation style is, um... And you know, that's secondary to the writing, and if the animation looks beautiful, that's great. I wanted a Blade Runner live-action TV series, but this is also good. Are we gonna get anime Ryan Gosling? I don't think it's gonna have any of the characters that we're aware of as main characters. I think we'll probably end up seeing some new characters, maybe we'll visit some of the older characters, but... It's a really unique and good world to explore with more stories, and so I, I'm very happy about that announcement. Between this and the uh, Nintendo announcement, which I still haven't fully seen the changes, you know, uh, regarding my channel, yet. We're gonna do some experiments soon, see what happens, but there's some good news lately. You just don't like Chinese people. You won't see any more of my money. Jesus. Well, that's, that's a hell of a thing to start on. It's only temporary! Saloons overrun with rats. I'm losing business left and right. I need to get someone to get rid of them for me. I'll pay very well. I just need it done. Want All me to right, kill rats? Calm down. Let me see what I can do. All right, I'll be your James Cameron. Just be sure not to bang around the place too much. I'll wait out here. Vinny, the only changes for sure that will affect your channel are ROM hacks and emulated games. Those were never allowed. So that's not different. 
It's just a matter of them putting their stuff in the automated claim system. Which, um... You know, who knows if that's gonna change. I just, I'm not sure. You really, this guy's okay with me shooting the rats? All right. Um, yeah, the Nintendo stuff, I still haven't seen it come to fruition, though. My, my channel manager, um, at Screenway was telling me that some of the stuff that they uploaded on their channels that are related to Nintendo have not been claimed. So maybe there is some change in the air. I'm going to re-upload, I think, one of the Mario World videos and see if I still get 30-something claims on it. And um, we'll take it from there. I don't want this. Ew. Arthur, what the fuck, man? Whoa! The return of the bubonic plague. Starring this bar. We got more rats? I want to do something creative with this rat. Never mind. Nice! Ooh, thanks, mister. Take this. Ooh, you earned every second. Earn, earn. I killed worse. So, yeah, uh, Hort over here is it's pretty cool. You know, there was something I found that I wanted to show you guys related to this game, and I, and I can't find it now. It was really good. Hang on a minute. I'm pretty sure I saved the image. You know that Italian man that we've come across recently? Let me check my images folder, because it's really good. Um, and then the other image was banging horts, but that's... Well, I can't show you this image. Can't show you that one, so I'm not going to. But I will show you. It was the guy from Red Dead Two, who. Here we go. Found it. Found it. Found it. Found it. I'm Prison Mike. Look at that stank face on Steve Crow. It's so stanky. So I'm never, you know, and Steve Carell's Italian. So I am never going to unsee that. By the way, if you want to play, um, if you want to play bingo along to the stream, you go to bit.ly slash cowbingo. There's always something going on. There's always something going on. And San Denis. So much for the new world. Hey! Who the devil are you? Far who, as you're who are you? I am the devil. Now get out of here. This cat! I said get out of here! Damn. 
quite know why I did that. Because barbarity is boring, you no? Know? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the Jean de Marie arrive. Hey, you gonna do right by this feller's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. Okay, man. This is already an extremely eventful Red Dead stream. Basically, um, helped a subspecies of rat go extinct. Oh, invisible wall. There's an invisible wall here. Got some fiddle. Mary Linton, bounty of $45. Last stream of Red Dead, people were saying to me that it was their favorite stream of Red Dead. There were more times during that stream that I wanted to throw myself off of a, a couch. Nothing too high, but there were so many times during that stream where I was just upset at myself. I'm glad you enjoyed my pain. Though... A lot of what I did was... When I really think about it... It was... it was stupid. I did a lot of dumb things. Some on purpose, to try to be funny and to try to fuck with horse physics. But, it led to the loss of our friend, Horticus. So, was it worth it? Was it really worth it? Yes. Look out, you damn I have a better horse now. Hey, you're okay, girl. Hey, girl! Always yeah. nice to see a returning face. Clear this ride up for you. Speaking of face, why do you I look like a Pixar character? Set up, but, uh, you know. This dude looks like that movie with Tom Hanks with the, the Polar Express. Like everyone else looks kind of real ish. This dude looks straight out of Polar Express. You have a good one. We're speaking of Steve Carell. Steve Carell's got a new movie coming out where he's, like, animated. Which looks really unsettling, actually. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Steve Carell animated. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, I don't, um, Marwin? It's the movie called Marwin? This is what he looks like. I don't... I don't like it... very much. It's like so oily and like... it kind of looks to me like, um... early PS1 cutscenes. Yeah, the r image quality is terrible, but... That's the style they're going for with the movie, I guess. Just oily plastic. I forgot how much I loved Steve Carell. Glad I decided to watch The Office and uh, finally see his best work. What was that? <laughs> what was that, Arthur? Hey, do I know you? Mr. I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, I, oh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train. 
crossing the river at Cumberland Falls, and at the party you were upstairs. It looks a little plasticky you too. Great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore, we've fought hard. We've made peace treaties. But look at those, those eyes. Those eyes broken, look so realistic. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. These poor men. No, my son, will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago. Who what is happening in the distance? What is that? With Leviticus Dimensional Cornwall portal? The state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. <sighs> oil, huh? So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, yeah. but we're very desperate. Yeah, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but... I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. Wait a minute. How much? <laughs> I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. We must try everything. Come along. Yeah, this game does a pretty good job Mr. at not Miller, hitting the Uncanny Valley too much. He can see you now. We've been waiting, I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. The characters, for me, they... Well, I love that dude's voice, but... The, uh, the voice acting sells it, too. Like, there's some really high-quality acting. But, I was gonna say, the characters are realistic enough to really sell them. But a little stylized, very slightly stylized, so that I don't feel like I'm looking into the maw of oblivion. So many things going on in Saint Denis. Oh, this is nice. Look at this park. I didn't even know that there was a huge park here like this. Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. <laughs> I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, <laughs> help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ace. Up the ace, you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you? Some kind of. European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass. Like I say. I, am s I love this guy. <laughs> toy maker. Hello. Do I look like I should entertain children? I don't like this guy anymore. No. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> oh, you're a Silver fake Tesla. American betrayed. And not pay the money to. Yes, that fake e Edison shit, man. betrayed. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. <laughs> it is demonstration of my genius. Of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. 
ways I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> Ladies! Gentlemen! Enchanté! Hello! Hello, sir! I made us to a boat! How is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. My friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You... You are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. Yeah. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon, dressed up like a buffoon, is a stooley. I watch them conspire, you morons. <laughs> I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? So, Professor... Show us your magical toy box. Wow. Only this time let the buffoon control. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Uh, up the ace. Use these ones to steer, and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? The fuck? Really? <laughs> what is this? This is Red Dead 2? Magnets attached, making nasty explosion if they touch the bottom. Okay, if this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on both the destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certain. This is so silly. And I have certificate. I kind of love it though. See what he does. No wire like telegraph, no pulley system underwater, only waves in the air. This is in remarkable. The ace. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Hussein. Another way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life, not death. Transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Yeah. I'm not sure about that. Tesla submarine battle royale. I was just talking about the Prestige movie. Some of the there's like a moment that reminded me of it in the previous stream I did of this. I'm going for you. <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. <laughs> Let me just reload. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm gonna have to kill a goose now, huh? Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond, still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, you attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. Gotta lead your shots, Vinny. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No. The rules are seas. Very cool. Arthur is so happy to play with the toy. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools, and unlike fools, not fools and their money are this is a great toy, though. Parted. 
And was this not difficult? It was difficult, but it was not difficult. <laughs> and, uh, as I say, uh, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. <laughs> it's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. <laughs> yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Yes, clone top hats. Um, <clears throat> I New hats you forever. Give my. What is this mister doing over here? Stuck on a gate. Foiled again. Howdy, fellas. Morning. Morning, mister. I, I am in a good mood for some reason. There's a really good, um, Photoshop. Or someone made... Oh, God, what did I miss? One second. What the fuck just happened? Why were you screaming for? can't find it. There was, um, if anyone can find the image or knows where it is. There was, um, Red Dead Redemption. And then it was like Pokemon. It was a Game Boy cartridge. Then there was Blue Dude Bamboozle. And then there was, the, the other one was Yeller Feller Smeller or something like that. I don't remember the third one, but it was pretty good. Let me take a look at you, tough guy. Boys like that, will it? And Arthur's just being a jerk now. Yeller, Feller, Endeavor. Okay, there. Yeah, there it is. I think we got a link. Here we go. Yeah, Red Dead Redemption Two, Blue Dude Bamboozle Two, and Yeller Feller Endeavor Two. I like Yeller Dever, Deller Feller. I like that one. I'd play them. It would just be a top-down game, probably. Josiah. So, let's see, how many missions are there? There's, um... Oh, at the camp. Mary Beth. There's so many missions available. And you have, um, who's this? Professor. There's the professor for more wackiness. Eagle flies? Oh, right, yep, that's the dude we just met. And then there's some stuff in here. Let's let's do the Mary Linton quest, why not? And then I'll try the Professor quest, because he's fun. And he knows about poker up the ass. And then there's a high-stakes poker game somewhere in town around here, if I'm not mistaken. Isn't this where I did the blind test? This is where I did the blind test last stream, and this guy is cleaning up the guts of the blind man that I shot. Arthur! Orfu. Arthur! Orfu? Up here! You came! Yeah. I came. So, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Who are these lads?
Mother. That was a different professor on the map? Oh. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. Why do people have better teeth in single player you, in this game than multiplayer? I know Daddy was not kind to you, but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. <sighs> oh, it wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? You know, I'm going to. Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other Wh things. Whoring? Filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the Wait, warehouse district horse? near the train Horse! Yard. Horse! Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. No, oh, Arthur. I'm just I horsing around. I away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. Time for exposition ride. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. Is this he? This no. is the place. And of course, I don't have any weapons with me. I don't know if I'm going to need them, but... Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Arthur says the word sure so many different Very ways. Funny. Shall we? Shall. Sure. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. <laughs> Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. <laughs> if I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Never been so to me. Apology accepted. 
Oh, wait right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy, tired and I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. And Willy Wonka really let himself go. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This is what happened if Willy Wonka couldn't get anyone proper with the golden Weapon ticket. Won't be necessary. Just, Just kept, kept drinking. I've heard that one before. Wait, Arthur. Any closer and he'll spot us. Mary, what the hell are you doing? And what's he doing here? Sorry. Screwed up. I was too busy thinking about Willy Wonka. I, I you know, this is my fault. We're gonna find out that the professor has timey wimey rewind powers, oh, Arthur. which is why Arthur He's can restart no missions good. at will. We better follow him. Okay. And then at the end of the game, we're gonna find out it was all a dream. This way. He went around the corner. I seen it. Mind my own business. Eyes ahead, Arthur. Wait, Arthur. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. There's lore at the piss stain. Sorry, the puke stain. Quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry. Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Err, uh her, -huh. let's see, try. He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. My Arthur voice is just getting more and more, like, decrepit. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. Copious amounts of puke will mess with the vocal cords. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Arthur, don't shoot my father! What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's playing hand he's simulator with himself. Waiting for a woman of dubious morals. He's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> but first, you're going to do a silly walk for that me. It is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was That's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not even I've a place to sell. It's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Can you we start a petition to re... You to re-spell that word? Brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. 
Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. Maybe we could get the brooch in the trough. Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. I need this. Whose fucking horse is this anyway? It's pretty good. Get back here. Come on, boy. You hear me? Stop the damn coach. The white horse is much faster than this one. I can't exactly shoot out a wheel, can I? You stop right now. And who smeared Vaseline on my screen? Fuck. Come on, get me on the white hort! Fuck! There's usually a button that lets you jump from hort to hort, but I couldn't that time, it wouldn't let me. Oh, fuck this horse. Now I'm playing with power. I'm not killing anyone over a fucking brooch. Good button! Jump onto wagon button. Okay, that one was my fault. <laughs> that was definitely my fault. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I'm terrible at this. This poor horse has already suffered so much. And it's a brand new one. Come on, just jump on the wagon, Arthur. Uh, yeah, so I mean, I get it, fog and and everything, but but why so much? Do you know who I am? Dear God, can't see a goddamn thing. Get out of there! It's a swamp, yeah, but not every time I go through this swamp, it's not always foggy like this. It's like the foggiest that it's ever been. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Yeah, no, sorry. We're gonna need a Andrew, discount. A five-finger discount. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. I'm not crazy. You know who you're messing with. I'm not crazy, mister. Pay 
Not at all crazy. Cats and the fiddle. Oh shit, no, that's not it. Wait, do the cats have the fiddle? Who has the fiddle? Where's your father? I don't know. The cats do? Go find him again? The cat and the fiddle. It's one cat, singular cat. I want to take a walk. I'll take you to the truck. Cats in the cradle? Thank you. Got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment? Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Oh. Uh, God, the experience I had with that theater last time. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Yeah, oh, some I strangeness happened last time I was Don't in that theater. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman. Mrs. Well, look Do at you the see my morality no, meter, Mrs. Linton? <laughs> I'm a good guy. Sort of beautiful, in a gaudy and tasteless way. That's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on, let's go find our seats. Excuse me, what happened on that thing there? That poster? What was that? How about here on the right? Sure. After you. That was the strange act. <laughs> so I found out it's Hey Diddle Diddle, the cat and the fiddle. Or with the fiddle. And then there's the cats in the cradle. So there's singular cat with fiddle. Plural cats in the cradle. The greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked act. the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just start now. Are you of in the a rush? The greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! You want to see a real strange act? Have you ever seen a snake on a Segway? Thank you for joining us. That is a nope now rope. Let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. Give us a refund. Nope, sorry, we here at Bethesda cannot do that. Stop 
how'd you even know that, Arthur? Are you psychic? And let off that go. Pretty young things say, Come with me in the parlors and brothers of San Denis. Oh, you can make a move. Make move in movie theater simulator. This will be its own game soon enough. It'll be on Steam for ten dollars. Oh no! Look at the audience. They're suffering from a disease known as low frame rates. Tones, right? Yes. You She's stink. pure spectacle, and I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you stage. not to play with fire, or to spend time in the company of strangers. Oh, I think we saw this one already. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sansovino. Yeah, Arthur's only happy when he's watching someone get like burnt. Ooh. Someone in chat said that they could only make a move once on Mary, and then they failed, and they could never do it again. Yeah, I saw it. We saw this on stream before I glitched the game. Last time I streamed single player. And I can't make any more moves, so maybe it's time to, uh, to boo and leave. You got no talent! Hey, come on, let's get out of here. Oh. Okay. Sure. If you want. Reckon we've seen the best of it. Actually, the fire act was pretty good, Arthur. <laughs> but you synced it already. <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? Yearn Hearn. Can't lie to you. I want it, man. Mary, if I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. Yearn Hearn. More than anything I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will, once I get some money. And I had some. Then some fool got her trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. Damn. 
damn. See, Arthur has faith. You know, he's got to go be faithful to Dutch. What are you going to do? You're flat? What the hell are you? It would be cool if if uh, you could actually accept the offer to run away with Mary Linton and then you just give up the gun. And then the rest of the game is you trying to make moves and her continuously, uh, continually rejecting them. It just becomes date simulator. Arthur Morgan date simulator and he just keeps saying the wrong things. I wonder how long it's going to take for games to get that complex. How many years of development time it would take, too? 10? 12? A small country of people developing it? Coward. Leave me alone. Take it easy. I ain't serious. Phew. Yes, of course. Real dickwad. Arthur, you're being a dickwad. Good to have you back in the shop, sir. Now, let's have a look. Don't really like any of these outfits, but... When in Rome. <sighs> Jesus. Nah, man. That is a local favorite. Nah. Nah, man. Not my Arthur. I stand behind everything I sell in this place, so you can purchase with confidence. Hmm. You might just be the best looking man in town wearing that. Excluding yours truly, of course. Oh, you're just saying that, mister. You look as long as you like. Thanks. Let's go do some crimes. My dear boy. Yes, here I am. Whoa, what? Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Clip. Well, you Clip. can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee River boat looking like this. Yeah? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Oh, shit. I was just in here, mister. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. 
Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault, his grandfather. I guess this is the only one I can get. Oh my god. Oh, that's free. Very good choice, sir. Aristocrat in his profile. Okay, we, we need to check out that clip in slow motion. Inbreeding. Let me show you the ghost of Red Dead Past. Here we go. Nice. It's cute when Rockstar does it, but when Bethesda does it, they don't get a pass, do they? I guess they got more of a pass during the Skyrim days. No, it's more than that. It, it, it's so there's so much more than that going on when it comes to glitches. And this is a glitchy game, too. Someone said in, in the Red Dead Online, they get stuck under the world for 15 minutes. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. Look classy, Arthur. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend? <laughs> My dicky old chum. This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let Fuck, where did I get all this hair from? Tonight. Oh, this dude does extensions. Cool. Make him look like a prince, sir. Just slap some oil on the hair, and then you're done. Very smart. Come on, let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation for us. What's going on here? <laughs> Hope you have a successful evening, gentlemen. Good morning, sir. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. This is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't win it up there on oh, horses oh, yeah. like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're countrified? I love that word. Oh, man. Which reminds me. No shuffling and mumbling. Buff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's a mark? Are you all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes, don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, 
If Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They are searchers when we get on. Oh man, I want to shoot. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now this isn't a shoot mission. Said, Arthur. Fuck. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes. Yes, believe me, I heard every word. I'm the Arthur of my own good fortune. Listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. This is going to go tits up, guaranteed. This pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, Ted. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. I've never met these men before. Oh dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables are oh, wait. Jump cut. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? If this was Westworld, that piano would be playing some Radiohead music or something like that. We have a chair here with I want to hear on, um, Closer by Nine Inch Nails on the piano. The old timey piano. Take a seat, sir. I want to fuck Good you evening, like an animal. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Desmond Blythe. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. I think, yeah, Richard Cheese, I think, did that. Recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. <laughs> I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fared? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not... Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes. I think he, he uh, shook his head no. <laughs> okay, sorry, boys. I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. To hell with it. Here we go, then. Hello, the ladies. The Damn it! Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, yeah. gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Is this fake Time Dutch? If you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. Fancy Dutch. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting in the hosiery, but... I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. He just raised $65. All right, I call. I call. I got a pair of queens. Strauss nodded his head. Yes. 
There we go. Uh, I don't like those cards very much. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. Oh, you know what? I'll I see you. Call. Interesting. Hey, cowgirls. <laughs> Shit. I won with a pair of queens. Yes, my luck. Hell, is that you done? Done. Bust. All right, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning, well, I heard. Well, I heard there was some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. <laughs> An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play as you wish. So you must know Leviticus okay. Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Oh, uh, Leviticus Cornhole. Let's not waste any more time here. Pair of kings. Oh, Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. I think that was the signal. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. This guy's a motherfucker when it comes to poker. Holy shit. Very good. Ooh, pair of aces. Good enough. Shit. There's an ace. Uh oh. A jack. Yes, you little beauty. Oh, I got a lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Flush. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. <laughs> well played, sir. Unlucky Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? It's a trap, gentlemen. Please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Well, perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Oh, hey, Javier. Hey, I mean, stranger. Me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> We live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Trying to scare me, sir? Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. Jesus Christ, sir. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. When can I kill? Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. For that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> Take that. Idiot, huh? What the fuck? Magic gun! Iron grip! Hands of steel. Yeah, I shot him in the gun, but, like, he... Usually you can shoot the gun out of their hand. Of course, take your time. Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. Guess you were right. 
Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Watch that be a fatal hand shot. Fatal. It was fatal. You in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. No, not yet. Oh yeah. Sure. I want this dude's personal affects. Never mind. I reckon we've only got a few. Some really silly, here. dopey shit happens in this game. Exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. <laughs> nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. Give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know <laughs> we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. <laughs> you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> ah, look, there's your friend. Say it louder. And I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> Come on, Arthur. And now it is time to shoot. Okay, I can kill infinite waves. Let's get out of here, Arthur. It's working on it. The weapons in this game are very satisfying. I know this is like, you know, 40 hours in and I'm saying this now, but... Good shoot. What have- what have I done wrong? Oh. <laughs> oh! Oh, I'm sorry, Chad. I, it was downstairs? Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's the lumbago acting up. Yeah, but we're not out of the woods yet. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? Uh, a few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. 
Yes, it's all right, Lingo, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. I was expecting it to not work anymore because it got wet. a mental amount of money. And already, we're in the news. Should probably feed the horse. Even horses get hungry too. Professor. Apparently only at nighttime does the other professor show up. So we got someone in Valentine too. Jim Boy Calloway. Eagle flies. Uh we got some stuff down here. Let's go to the Professor. I think this gentleman just complimented my fine horse. I agree. Through death, rebirth. Through pain, joy. Previous Hort had to die. Is there another mission in here? God damn, there's just infinite amounts of things. You wouldn't bring a horse to the dinner table, would you? Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour, monsieur. This is the table of false promises and broken dreams. This is extremely delicate. Hey. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help? <laughs> May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Yeah. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. Oh, of course. Too ephemeral. You want something, uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no. Yes. I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Hmm. Well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, no, no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 
15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. This will never happen. Right. I will see what I can do. How many dinosaur Thanks bones do you need, sir? Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. I don't know about that. I don't exactly plan on 100%ing this game. These cowboys, I'm tired of them riding through the streets. What Move. in the world is happening to this place? Yeah, Yep. Well, well. Careful, dear. <laughs> it's always entertaining to me. Excuse me. There was someone there was someone there? What's wrong with you? Leaving. I didn't know there was anyone in the bush! At least they didn't call the cops on me. Uh, sometimes, I swear, if you haven't played this game, you might not believe this, but there are times when the horse just does weird things on its own. Most of the horse-related injuries and failures are my own fault, but like a good 10%, I'm just like, what the fuck are you doing, horse? Can't really do anything with this now, can I? Shh. Jesus fucking Christ! Okay, girl. Yeah, not could be done about that. Let's see what's going on over here. You don't belong here. Now get. I don't care. Arthur's a bad man. Someone said in the chat just now, that was my great-great-grandfather. If that's true, then you shouldn't be here. There's a time paradox. fading away. Quick, check the photograph. <laughs> I 
I still haven't found any like uh, spices, herbs and spices. Then again, I haven't really looked. Yeah, rub it on that wood. The extra smoky hickory flavor. really hoping I can get this man to burn. It's like a little sociopathic, but I mean, in video games, you get to live out your deepest fantasies. Which is... Oh, Jesus. Am I the baddies? Special hat glow? That was a special hat? Now I'm a bad person. If I wasn't already. Most of the chat is clapping. Oh, I think this is the endless cycle of cook and repeat that happens. Oh wait, no. No, I don't think he's gonna light up again. That big fucking thing. Look at- oh man, I'm an expert at fishing! I just picked up the fish, apparently. Oh. Okay. Wrong one? Oh, that was a different fish. Shit. You caught another fish out of the water. That's cool, too. Um, I'm going to now, real quick, before I do more stuff, I want to find a sword. Just a moment, please. There is a sword in this game, and I want to use it for when I ride the horse, and it could be like Breath of the Wild. Ancient tomahawk, pump action shotgun, hunter hatchet, goes revolver, goes revolver. Uh, where is that sword? Hmm. Pirate sword where a bunch of gators are? Broken pirate sword. Oh, it's not that far from here. Okay, hang on, we're gonna get a sword. Pirate sword. That's oh, a little far. It is... here. I want that. I'm gonna go get that and then we'll do the mission. Or should we do the mission first, and then go get that? You know what? I'm right near this dude. And there's a legendary hog in the area, so let's go do that first, and then I'll go... Alright, girl. <laughs> then I'll go get the pirate sword. Good job. No shit. Huh. Yeah, I'll take the stupid bird. 
There's an Easter egg near you as well. Really? I guess it's not hungry enough. Let's go, girl. Yep. <laughs> now, where's this shine? Be okay. It's gonna be okay. Settle down. Where is the wagon? There's the wagon. Oh, Jesus. Ah, what is this? Do I have to kill all these people? You stop that wagon! What is it? Oh, shit! You ain't getting up! You're asking for it, you bastard! All this over moonshine. Horse reviver. I needed that. Let's get you home. I don't think there was a special hat there. It was a regular hat. Maybe. This is now a highway. Fucking it. All right, we're good. Uh, <laughs> should I not be across this field? I don't think so. Let's go backwards better. Yep. I mean, that in and of itself is impressive. The fact that they were able to coordinate themselves to go backwards like that. Hey, I know a shortcut. Kidding. So, I got your moons. 
Jack. You're a wonderful man. Wonderful. <laughs> you got my money? Uh, it's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deal. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drinks. <laughs> Creepers. Excellent. No, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable. A way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls. A way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, getting them so, drunk? So humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. What? I see, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where is it? Well, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Oh yes, boy. Could you do that? Hmm? Oh boy. Oh, by the way, you own this carriage now and, and those horses. Hope you can feed them. Pirate sword first. Yeah, kind of close to the pirate. Let's do the pirate sword. Let's get it. I know there's also a Viking helmet. There's a lot of weird weapons and clothing scattered about throughout the world. Please clean Hort. I. I. Okay. Can't. Now I can. Watch the dirt magically disappear. Wow. That could be an advertisement. Port dirt be gone. Hello, hey there. Oh. <laughs> That's the move I learned. Okay, that plus gun plus dead eye could make some good moments. Here comes a big Get him pretty Whoa, Jesus. Jesus! Heal up, Arthur! Heal up, Arthur, you cunt! I'm okay. Did the horse die? How is that fucking cool? 
Yeah, my horse is dead. Like, what the fuck, man? They come at me with a thousand dudes. I think it auto-saved. I think it auto-saved just after, uh, the horse died. Now I have to save my game manually every fucking five minutes because of this bullshit. I specifically got off the horse so it wouldn't get murdered. I don't have any saves from anything other- other than what happened two days ago. See? Pretty fucking angry. Pretty fucking angry about that. Please, please. It's time to drink heavily in game. Save your game. The autosave in this game is pretty fucking useless. If you're, uh, if you're talking about keeping your horse. Just want horse insurance in single player, but no. Alright, well, goodbye, Hort. We hardly knew ye. This motherfucking Lemoyne Raiders had to go and ruin everything. Let's go get a better one. And that was like a really, that was an incredibly bad ambush, because I saw it on the map and it took me a minute to register what was happening. And then I said to myself, wait a minute, no, 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 I don't want my horse to die. I'm gonna get off my horse, I'm gonna go take cover, and I'm gonna go kill them. It was all too much. It was just too much. But those are the assholes I took that house from, and, and uh, made it my gang house. From what I understand, you can buy decent, if not even better, horses at the stables here at Saint Denis. So um, I'm hoping, hoping I can get a decent horse. But God damn it! And I'm also going to be manually saving after every mission from here on out. I may not remember, which is why 
if possible, chat, remind me. Try not to get too crazy about it. Like, you know, if you see people spamming it, chances are I'll be okay. But... I just, um... I just have to save after every mission manually. Hey, you remind me of my hort. Am I in the right spot? Evening. Evening. No. Where's the where's the stables in San Denis? Thought it was there. Someone said it was there a while, and I went over there, and there were horses. But oh, it's here. What am I doing? I remember someone, um, pointed that area out on the map and said that sometimes amazing horses spawn there. Hey, what? Do you want something from me? They patched that spot, Vin. It doesn't spawn good endgame horses anymore. So, that spot actually did have endgame horses. That's the horse glitch spawn point. Fuck, man. Is this piss? Good. Oh, boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Another shit show of a Red Dead stream. What is that? What? Well, it's Arthur being Arthur from the, the cartoon. Oh. Howdy. How don't part not? What do you guys think? Get the elite? We got really fair Vinny, do not horse. buy another horse. Why not? Yeah. I have the money for it. Perkoman has more health, so get that. Um, no, the Arabian has more health. It's spawned again if you want to tame a new one. Really? Perk doesn't scare as easily. Yeah, the Arabians get scared pretty easily, huh? Oh, it does have more health. I was looking at the wrong thing. Sorry, chat. I was looking at the left one, and I, I chat yachted. Sorry. Uh, yeah, this one's got good speed. It's got less good acceleration. But it's got more health. Um, and if they scare less easily, that's good. The black horse looks cooler. I'm gonna buy the... I think I'm gonna buy the Turkoman.
the white Arabian does respawn. Uh, I, it's, this one looks so cool. But this one is massive. Bort. I, it, I almost named it Bagel because that was one of the suggestions. say this town is only skids, but I don't see it. I think it's a pretty alright looking horse. That'll make your horse happy. Adding on to your saddle helps personalize it. And I'm good, I think, with Best to have a good all the saddles. This horse is in the back of going fucking crazy. What is- what are you doing? What is your problem? What is that horse's issue? What is your major malfunction? Right, maybe it's happy? Yeah, well, here we go again. Another horse. And if I get ambushed again, there are people going, going down. People get wiped out. Hey, you're okay, girl. Yeah, you're all right, girl. Save. It knew it didn't get picked by Vinny, which is the happiest day of that horse's life. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have a good track record with horses. They talk. They know this. Did you know that Hort and Mort are very close to each other? Hortus. Is that a light on your head? Yes, it is. It's a headlamp. Yeah. Miner's hat, yeah. Somebody please help me. Oh. Do you need Hey you Do you need the suck? Gotta help me. Some fellas broke into our place. I got away, but they got my wife, please, mister. You gotta do something. Alright, where is she? It's a sacked out in the swamp. By the water. <laughs> okay. Go on. See if you can find the law. I'll do what I can. Oh. Uh, I go about finding my. I'm gonna get the pirate sword. We're gonna start with pirate sword, and, and we're gonna end with chopping off people's heads as a form of revenge against unrelated people that did that to my poor horse.
Turns out I'm not the crocodile hunter. Vinny, you already knew that didn't work. Maybe I didn't want it to work. Deep down. Oh, I think that quest got removed. Shit. <sighs> Today on Red Dead Redemption 2, Vinny is bad at this game. Come at me. I mean, I found the shack. I'm gonna go there anyway. Welcome to Gator Island. A place only a fool would go to! And I'd even bring my good weapons too. Not gonna do it. Not gonna try to kill an alligator with a saber. How much money am I going to lose this time? From alligator related injuries. Did it save? this game. Yeah. Use the D-pad to change melee weapons. Yep. Don't have it. Oh, I have a Civil War knife. No, I don't have the sword. Now, come on. You can change melee to uh, I've been. I mean, I, I stabbed a baby alligator. I thought for sure that would be okay. I didn't expect such swift revenge. Oh. Just full of bad decisions today, what can I say?
When you go drinking tonight, think about Hort. I don't even know if I'm going to end up drinking tonight, but if I do, it'll be because of Hort. W-H-O-R-T. Was it not in this boat? wrong with this game what? I mean yeah there's a lot wrong with me too in the way I'm playing the game but what what why would the sword disappear on your hort. I looked for it, I didn't see it. <sighs> no aim, no brain, must be a sword main. It's not like it matters anymore anyway. I just wanted to chop people's heads off from a horse. Vinny, you're like the third person uh, who streamed this game I've seen get the pirate sword, then instantly lose it by fighting the local wildlife. You didn't lose it, you press left, right on D-pad while melee is selected. I... did that, though. That's exactly what I did. I was looking for it. Just do it again, bro. It'll be there this time. Come on, girl. There, girl. I don't mean to be snappy, like a snapping turtle or a gator, but I really am upset about everything that's happened on this stream in the past 20 minutes. And I'm not gonna get upset at the game. I mean, there's some aspects of the game I'll get upset about. Like, the raiders having a Gatling gun, for one. Um, and then the sword disappearing forever. But I'm mostly just upset at myself. Maybe I will drink tonight. Hey everybody, it's me, Mitty. Welcome to the stream. See if you can find the law. I'll do what I can. You know, it'd be cool if I didn't have to uh, do this every single time. But now I have my shotgun, so in case an alligator decides to get smarmy with me, come. One second, chat.
Okay, hello. Sorry about that. I'm back now. It won't let me save at this present moment. Sure hope that was the bad guy. Oh please, please, please attack me now. Thank Would God for that. I was busy getting a sword. Christ! What a mess! Would you please get them out of here? I can't stand to touch them, and I don't want to rotten indoors. Okay. Well, this should be easy. You know, them gators is real hungry lately. Wait, there's two more bodies in here. No? Someone just said, what prime real estate? Why would you- why would you want to live here? I guess you didn't really have much of a choice, huh? Oh shit. Whoa, instant! Yeah. Whoa, no. Incorrect. Incorrect. Maybe they like the gators? Well, it's- I mean, it's good eating. This dude does not want to cooperate with me. There you go. You. There's some money I put away in the sack there. It ain't enough, but please take it. For fuck's sake. What are these visuals? What was that? I was like, Arthur was vomiting sunflower seeds. Good luck to you. This, this this past like half hour of the stream, everything's been falling apart. It was a cool fifty. I'll take a cool fifty. The husband's gonna come back with every lawman in San Denis, and nothing is gonna be happening here. That's not my horse. Whose horse is this? For Christ's sake. Here. Damn that horse. If Bort! Get over here, Bort. Yep. There you are. That's 
color piss. Mary Beth. Or Leopold Strauss. Let's do the Strauss thing. Well, I mean, the good news is I finally have the sword. Yeah, good girl. It only cost me the white horse, a bunch of time, dignity, and a whole lot of other stuff. But, did you know, chat, that you can do this with the, with the sword? Yup. Okay, girl. It's time to kill. Order! Knowing me, I'll get this nice new horse eaten by alligators before I get a chance to actually ride it and make friends with it. Fucking amazing. Mr. Morgan. Still working, Leopard, Mr. They call him. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan. Will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And? That's it. We're a union built on that, you know. Okay. Oh, hi, babe. <laughs> Swampy. The amount of stink that this camp has acquired just by living by this swamp for this long. Yeah. Good morning, Uncle Arthur. Hey. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Or Uncle got sure. lumbago, too. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that merry girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? Got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, 
Life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. If you Google Go Lumbago, ahead. the first result... Tell you on the way. Or rather, the first Just suggested search is Lumbago Uncle. All right, head for Rhodes. At least it was for me. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley. It's just a lower just spine problem that's very there painful. You know. When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You were special. Well, thank you. I swear half of you would just rot in your own filth if nobody kept you in check. Anyway, talking to folks disappearing. Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Okay, I think that's the place. No, I haven't actually. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa! What you want? Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Get out of here! Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by it. I said. It. You said your life Oof. Words. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find out. Girl. <laughs> need the hat real quick. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches. What the fuck is this Dalmatian Shut horse? Up. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. <laughs> Get after them! There! Straight ahead! I saw them go through those bushes! You've got a couple more seconds to regret what you did! They're heading down the hill to the water! We're coming for you, you guys! Three shots in the back. You got it. Oh, there they are by the shoreline! 
Alright. They think they're getting away. They got another thing coming. Get it's the wrong girl. Alright. I think that last one's the boss. <laughs> women, we'll take him back. Come on. Get him, Arthur. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Come here. That's it. Now make sure you tie him up real good. Gotcha, kill you. Oh shit! Quick, get after him. Make sure we take him alive. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute now. The fuck, man? Oh, you're, you're, you're fucking. You're all fucked up. Okay. First try. Wait a minute, do I really have to run all the way back? Can I ride the deer? You have to go back to where you left the horse? Uh... Pfft, it's not... Sh what the hell? the first idea what you're getting into oh, man, where'd she go Norman. well thanks for the introduction Anthony is that foreman with an a I want the undertaker to spell it right funny bastard <laughs> who are you running with she didn't tell you she didn't tell me nothing oh. this oh. Oh. Is cutting into me don't feel so good when you're the one tied up does it she killed my coward. Get off me! She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. Oh, what are you fuck. Gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch. Of course, I had to get a horse that's hard of hearing. You just shut your mouth now, Anthony. I've heard enough. Son of a bitch. Where's that horse got to? All right. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. So he's still alive then? Ah. I guess. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you Doesn't he love revenge? Boys dead. She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. All right, you. I, can't, I can't do it. I can't bring myself to do it, chat. I'm sorry. Now get out of here. I can only kill horses. All right.
back there, boy. Okay, here's one for the record books of the Cock Destruction video series. Never mind. Alright, so, uh... That worked. That's good. Come on. I think Arthur is gonna develop Winnebago real soon. Where was my horse back here? Jesus Christ, Arthur's horse. I like this hort. This is a cool hort. Okay. Dalmatian hort. Yeah. That's a good girl. Stagecoach information. Maybe I should keep that hort, because, you know, it's always good to have a backup. We've had quite enough of your kind. With you in a moment. Now wait, don't you dare point that at me. Well, hello again. I got another Hey one. there, mister. Hello. <laughs> How's things, Alden? Good. All right. This is a little different. Take the coach and deliver it to my contact. He'll pay you well for it. It's a fragile cargo, so go easy. Okay. But the money best be right. Oh, it is, Arthur. I promise it's very right. Mm, maybe not right now, but... Good tip. Fifteen whole dollars. Gone. Thank you. Hello, new hort. Where are we going? What are you doing? We got any stables over here that I can register the hort to? No, not really, not over here. Splort? You want to call it Splort? All right, chat. All right. It's time for you to stop watching the stream. We've bonded, so... Ain't been too many Federals coming through. Stop right where you are. Hey! Wh whomst? Don't I know you from somewhere? Why, if it ain't one of them... Prince who made Shady Bell... So... I remember it! Put him down! Yeah. Yeah. That didn't kill him. $45? I just killed a bunch of raiders. 
I'm doing you guys a fucking fa- ah, oh, whatever. I'm done trying to reason with the law in this game. This game! This new- yeah, this new Hort is a killer. My sword basically did nothing. But the Hort was trampling all over. You killed some innocents? Wait, did I? There, girl. Okay. I accept this bounty. Killing them all! Uh, children! Hello there. I'm still a really good guy. And just like that, my crimes have gone away. Horse is kind of slow. Boom. I recognize you. Jesus, didn't you're one of the fellows from the riverboat, ain't you? Kill all those people, and for what? A few dollars? Sorry, mister. I think you got me mixed up with someone. No, no. I never forget a face. Never. Enjoy spending your blood money. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. My bounty is already too high. It's a, it's not a fast hort, but it's a stompy hort. People are saying, yeah, it's just an Appaloosa. It's it's you know it's it's cool looking. She's a beaut. I could sell her, but you know what? Maybe I'll just keep her because she's nice. This one I can sell. You know what? We'll sell we'll sell this one. This one's stupid. There we go. This one sells for $17.20. Bort is $475. Let's get him switched out then. Howdy, sir. Hey, partner.
you sure? Don't know if I'd want to be hollering after a horse with that name. <laughs> Splart, come here. Splumpkin? <laughs> Wait a minute, did it was a suggested word splumpkin? I'll get you switched out. Oh, Sklumpkin. Yeah, that was the name of my um my cat in Monster Hunter World, so I guess PlayStation recognizes that I've used that name before and it tried to uh have me name the thing Sklumpkin. Vinny, you're so predictable. I think we're all predictable on a large enough time scale. I mean, you guys watch my streams. Not all of you, but some of you watch my streams like every day. I'm bound to be predictable. I'm sure many of you predicted that. Vinny, I miss one stream and your second hort is dead. Yep. You should watch the moment. What a moment it was. I felt so helpless. So powerless. This is a war hort. Oh, war hortle. So this one should live a little bit longer. I'll just phase through there. Happy to assist you in a moment. Liberty is worth every penny. Nabe is service. See you later. Hi there, ma'am. <laughs> Hello there. Howdy. Hello, mister. Hello, ladies. Hello, sir. Hello. You seem full of joys of spring, miss. Thank you. Watch out! I'm sorry there. Hey there. Hello, miss. Look how good of a person I am. Even though I just killed a bunch of people. Hello. Remember, you can make up for any kind of murder... ...very easily. All you have to do is say hi to a bunch more people, and it's, it's all forgiven. In the eyes of the Lord. Is it okay? I think I have to start. Have to start uh, wrapping this up. As much as I would love to spend more time playing this game, go to the professor. Yeah, all right, I can do one more. Take a pamphlet. Nope, I will never take your pamphlet, Mister. House. What can I do for you? Don't think I like Enough. you around here. Come Wait with it. me, or well, I'll bring you okay, in stone cold dead. Well, I didn't press anything. I set the controller down. I think when I set the controller down, it accidentally hit R2. I had no intention of pulling my weapon out. 
zero intention. I held L2, which is the lock-on button for dialogue with characters. I walk through, and Arthur immediately pulls out his gun. Holy fuck. Bonjour, chérie. Do you want to have a good time? Yeah, let me, let me... You should pay me. You only say that because you know I would never touch you. Jesus. Hopefully I won't accidentally pull out my gun while trying to talk to people again. Hi, uh, folks. You ever play this before, Brent? Well, well. Hey, Captain. Got another bounty. Ten dollars plus the fifty lost for fucking dying to the police. Which that mission seems to be. Where is it? Oh, it's here. Okay. I, I give up. I just, I give up. Look out! Come on, Arthur, you can do this. You can, you can run faster, Arthur. I've seen you do it. We're gonna try this again. So welcome to our humble police house. <laughs> I can't possibly help you if you don't tell me what you need. Okay. Can I help you with something? <clears throat> there you go. There, I got it. I did it. I didn't walk through the door this time. Humane execution machine. An electric chair. And he, uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. But it's gonna cost you $100 in fees. How about you just kill me and take $50 from me instead? Oh, wait, you did that already. Hey, look, this will save you money in the long run. And, uh,. It'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen. But I'll give you a permit for 50. Okay. Just shoot me well, in the head. Price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen in the usual formalities, of course, such as, uh, Finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment? I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. No, really, just shoot me in the head. Here, I'll, I'll hold the button, and then I can pull out my gun. It'll be good. Let's save. I'm gonna save here. I'm gonna try something. I, I don't. I don't think it's gonna happen, but I want to try something. And I'm pretty like I'm pretty used to the controls in this game too. I'm not even gonna blame the controls. I'm already used to it, but it's so fucking weird. Look. Okay, so I'm locked on. No. Gone. Show that permit to whoever's got to see it. Yeah. Weird. Really weird. I don't know why that happened, chat. Maybe my scrotum hit the fucking R2 button by accident. You never know, it's happened before. It really hasn't. Come on, girl. I think it might be time to stop now. 
Multi-kill! Monster kill! Scrotal kill! We're gonna turn it off now, just in case the game decides to kill me and then auto-save my horse being dead. But, I did a manual save, we're good. I didn't realize you could blow up trolleys like that. <sighs> what a day. What a day. Vinny, I'll bet five gift subs that you put your controller down and actually accidentally pushed a shoulder trigger before on stream. It's possible. I did that the second time. When I surrendered to the police officer, I most certainly set my controller down and accidentally hit R2. That was a guarantee. Whatever happened the first time, though, I wasn't resting the controller on my leg. I don't... whatever. It's, it's okay. It's over now. I'm sure I'm to blame for it somehow, right, chat? Okay, let's take a look at the, um... Let's take a look at the bingo before we do the art. Alright. Vinny, you set the controller down and accidentally skipped a cutscene in Metal Gear Solid 2. I remember that. Check this out. One time, years ago, I was streaming Final Fantasy VI. And I think it was at the end. I think I had completed the game. I beat Kefka. Set the controller down. And you know when your pants, you're wearing jeans, and there's like a mound? It's not like Kefka got me excited or anything. I'm just saying there was a mound from the jeans, because that's what happens. There's a like a... An illusion and um the um, <laughs> the controller l2 was bound to rewind or load no i think it was load state load state and i pressed that and i lost like 30 minutes of progress maybe 40 yep it was a fold it was a zipper mound there you go it was the zipper mound so that's true um, did I fail to stealth? I don't think so. No. Yeah, the sword kind of, right? In the dad mission? Mary's dad. Oh, you're right. Thank you, chat. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, yes. This, uh, I don't know. Probably. Yep. Someone wanted cocaine. No, surprisingly, not today. Very much, yes. Probably this too, but I don't know. Maybe someone can help me figure that one out. No, no. Yes. Oh, the gun. Yeah, I hit the gun and nothing happened. That's right. <laughs> that happened exactly like that today. Yes, well, it was a different hort, but... No, no fruit. We avoided the information zone. Okay, so that's been reversed as a bingo slot. NPC is mad at Vinny, and he doesn't know why. Nope, this didn't happen today. Then he saves someone's life, then promptly kills them. I think I referenced the office. Prison Mike. That definitely happened today, yeah. Mad NPC happened when you saved that lady. Yep. Pardoner happened quite a bit. Failed to retrieve hat. Hort makes a perfectly timed bowel movement. Not today, but... Bingyat. At least one. 
the lady I saved earlier, yes. There you go. There should be one for something stupid happens, Vinny blames the controls. That's one. Two, something stupid happens, blames the horse. Those two should be on this, I think. That would be good. Uh, and then another slot would be a hort dies. Something stupid happen, happens blames the dong. I don't know how many times that would. How about blames the chat? I think that would probably be more appropriate. Dong blaming is rare. It doesn't happen too often. Does anyone want a $3 bill? All right, listen, that's the end of the stream for now. I'm not going to be around tonight, more than likely. But, um, thank you for watching. And I guess uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Prob Mario. Probably. Yeah, more than likely I'll see you tomorrow with not Red Dead, but with other things. Uh, I think Kirby DLC comes out soon, so that should be a kind of a short stream. And should be good. The Kirby DLC is kind of, um, I think it's got a couple characters, some levels, stuff like that. But I do have a little bit of art that I can bundle for you here at the end of the stream. First is from Aogard. Now I'm telling you, Arthur, a cucumber is a fruit. Good. Here's one from Elena D. Bloody shroom. If any, I googled it. That's apparently is still a big argument that goes on today. What? Cucumber being a fruit? Is it too late to go to fruit? For the bingo? Well, I don't know, but I'm not going to throw my two cents into any of these um, options because I don't know. I think cucumber is a meat. But this poor shroom lived a hard life. Surgery on a shroom. From Maj Majestor. Play an exciting game, Vinny. Oh, shit. The chat, in this case, is the Chad. Oh, I see. The next time I, um, the next time I stream Slay the Spire, the, uh, opening message is gonna be Slay the Sleeper. So it'll be cool. Nice work, though. You know, because they're going to type it anyway. They're going to post it anyway, so I may as well just preempt it. Kittenus made this stream starting soon. With uh, this character that Kittenus keeps posting. Uh, it's like... It's just a crusty vine shroom. It's nice. Now, before I go on to the next piece of art, there is something that I think you should see, but also um, it's something that, I, that people have been recommend <coughs> recommending that I show for a couple days now, so I'm going to show you. Found it. What the fuck is that? What is that? Ma! Put the dogs away, there's something in the backyard! Ma, put the fucking dogs away, there's something in the backyard! Ah! Ah! What the fuck is- He's back! Oh! Ma! 
Call the fucking cops! <laughs> that fucking cat is back! Yeah! The one that looks like it's wearing makeup! Call the fucking police! Again, Michael Rappaport is not actually there. So, don't worry, the cops weren't called on the cat. The cat has a good life. People are taking good care of it. Even though it looks like grandma. This one's from Sam J. Never forget where you came from. I see a meat boss and a vine rising. How they're they're hanging out, I guess. This one's from Nova Novasis. Here's a BRB. Meat flicks and chill. Oh boy. Having a thrash, you know? This one's uh, from uh, Novasis. I like this. It's good BRB. Spacey. Planetary. Interplanetary. Intergalactic planetary. Here's one from Wear Whiskey. It says, got inspired by random chat message. Arthur crying, I want my horse back. Oh, fuck. You could just change that to Vinny crying, I want my horse back, and it's equally pertinent. Okay, I have to stop. I just closed this video. All right, so, hey, thanks for watching, everybody. This has been a fun early stream. Some progress was made in Red Dead. Also, some, some horrible things happened. But, well, it was fun. I won't be around later. 99% won't be around later but I will be around tomorrow. So have a good night. Take care of yourselves and each other. Whatever you do, don't hurt each other. I've just co-opted Tommy's speech. I don't, I don't care. It's me. It's mine now. I own it. I like it. And if you want, you can go to twitch.tv slash team slash vine sauce. Um, a couple people are live currently. That's Limes, Potato, and my friend Mike, and a number of, I don't know if any of the, the other mods are live, but they're good. If you want to watch some other streamers and you can wait here and that'll take you to a number of different streamers automatically randomly with no bias whatsoever so if you're looking for more streams there's you know there's a lot of people streaming stuff that i'd recommend um thank you mods thank you everybody else and uh, thank you hort goodbye